Hello, hello, this is Kalora132, bringing you Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Part 75. We have shovel, dual pistols, SMG, the M4, the flamethrower, the parachute, and that's it. And it is September 14th, 4.45pm, and in this episode I originally said, last episode, that I would probably do more exporting. Well, I've decided we are going to go up to Mount Chiliad and complete the three Chiliad challenges, which I think they're bike races. So, I want to get a new percentage point. I want to get up to the next percentage. And put us closer to the end of uh, our San Andreas adventure. So, let's go ahead and punch it. If I see a vehicle that I know is one of the vehicles we're looking for, then yeah, I'll probably just stop and grab it real quick. But, I'm gonna... Really, I want to get those Chilia challenges done because those are bike races. Really quick things. That's a Super GT for second house in Conchita. It's not what we're looking for, so carry on here. Wait a minute. Is that a Stafford? No, that, that, that couldn't be a Stafford. If I see another one, I'm going to stop and check it. But I don't think that was a Stafford. Is that boxy looking car? You. I want to check you. I do want to check this real quick. This, I don't think is, but it might be. Let's see, what are you? Okay, no, you're a Walton. Okay, yeah, yeah, I don't want you. You're a terrible vehicle. So, okay. Now then, back to what we were doing. <laughs> back to heading up Mount Chiliad. Mm, dodge you. Ah, uh, not dodge you. You will run into me, jackass. So, bike races this episode. And then... I think we definitely need to get some more taxi missions done, probably in the next episode. Do some taxi missions along while we're searching for some exporting, so if we see one while we're doing taxi missions, we'll just stop there and pick up that. Let's see, I think the Chiliad challenges, I think you take place right here, maybe? I think you pick, um, nope. No, I guess not. So, we'll go up to the top, I suppose. Hopefully it's up there. If not, I don't know where the Chili Challenges will start then. If they're not up top. And I just took the path that's not fastest, I don't think. But I think I can reverse that in a minute. We should drive up this way. No, we won't. Darn it. <coughs> Turn this way. No, 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 no! Go, 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 go. I'm so getting up there. <clears throat> I am not staying down here. I'm going up there. Go, 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 go. Yes! Told you. Told you I was making it up there. <laughs> Alright, come on, bike. This bike is pretty nice. It's FCR 900. I like it. Just because its engine is, like, so loud. For a bike, it's awesome. Alrighty. Do 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 Just jump that little bit there. Here's the creepy house that we killed the F the DEA agent in and some of the FBI agents killed them there. That is also another myth zone. It's one of the possible hiding places for uh I believe pig Pigsy from Manhunt. It's one of the popular myths of the area up here, along with Bigfoot. Leatherface, Bigfoot, and Pigsy are all said to possibly be up on in these mountains. I think Pigsy and Pigsy and Leatherface are said to possibly be in there, and Bigfoot's just out in the uh, middle of the areas, you know, just out in the wood zones, nowhere else. La -da 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 -da, come on. It takes forever to go up this mountain. I should have just cut and been up there and came back. But I'm already like close enough now, it's not even worth it. It wouldn't be worth cutting now just because we're only a few more turns now. So just gotta drive up this mountain here. It's part of the mountain. And we're already almost at the top here. Yeah, here we go. 
up here's the top of the mountain, so we'll get on this bike. I think you have to get on this bike. That starts it. Or at least one of them. Well, you know, the bike that's up here. Where is it? That bike. So we'll jump off that. We'll see if this is right. Come back between 7 and 18. Okay. So, you know what? Uh, we'll wait these six minutes, so we'll be right back, guys. See you in a few minutes. Alright, hey guys, we're back. So we're going to go ahead and do this Chiliad Challenge. First one. The Chiliad Challenge. Okay. So it's a bike race. Scotch bonnet, yellow route. Oh, crap. These guys are booking... Oh, are you kidding? What a great start to this. Already getting that bull down. Shorts. This looks so weird. Okay, there we go. I love having max bike skill. <coughs> See, bicycles. Now those, that's fun to do. Just gotta be careful on it, though. Because if you do a wrong turn or somebody screws you over, you get knocked off, and it's so much crap. All it takes is one person to hit you wrong. To rub you the wrong way, and you get so screwed. See, like, look at this. I'm getting so jacked up. Dang it! Turn around and go. I really gotta make up some time. There we go. Four, three, two, one, right there. So we'll just punch this one. I'm already going max speed, so I need to slow down. There we go. So, alright, there we go. Now we're getting this one. Just really gotta be careful with it, guys. Because you do not want to fall off. It sucks so bad to have to, like, fall and start over or something. Especially if you, like, come all this way. Like, right now, if I were to fall off, that would be terrible. Actually, I don't think it would be too bad, because then all I'd have to do is just go up to here, yeah. So here we go, here's the win. Chiliad won. <coughs> now the second race is up. So what I will do is, I will cut here for a second, and I'll meet you guys up at the top for the next one. So, we'll see you at the top of Mount Chiliad. Hey guys, we're back. Here we are at the top of Mount Chiliad. So we'll go ahead and start the second race of the three there are. So just hop off and hop on here again. We'll start the Chiliad challenge of the next race. Bird's, uh, Bird's Eye Winder. I'm just going to go a little slow because I know that these guys do make their mistakes on these curves. Like They make tons of mistakes. The computer does. They turn too early, so they do really funky stuff. I think. I hope. Why does it not look like that's happening? We'll go ahead and punch it a little bit here. Oh, shoot. I remember this path. This path, if I'm remembering right, does something really wonky with you. So here we go. Here comes this little curve. There we go. Now we're in first. Just go ahead and punch it so I get really far up here, so I don't have to worry about them coming and screwing me over. Oh crap. Wow, right behind me. So you just really gotta be careful in these, when you're doing these, because you don't want to fall off. If you fall off, you have to start all over. You have to drive all the way back and up to the top, and you have to start all over again. It's just a bunch of crap that it's very annoying to redo. Yeah, come on. Turn. Go, CJ. Go. I don't think they're that... Oh, wow, they are behind me. <laughs> uh, yeah, big fall there. Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay, there we go. Whew. I'm not losing. <laughs> losing sucks. So, just know what you're doing when it comes to riding a bike. You should be fine. 
They'll go all the way down there. Well, you just take that nice little shortcut. Oh, crap. Be careful on these, like, corners like this one. <laughs> and you don't want to go down, like, in one of those sections, because that really can screw you over. Okay, they're right there, so... Got a little bit of leeway. Here, okay, here we go. Here's where I can just really pump it. We're already maxing out. As you guys can see, my CJ's already maxed it. Alright, no he hasn't. Never mind, there we go. So, we're going pretty well. I don't know how far behind me they are. So, there's one more race after this one, and then you'll have all of the Chiliad Challenges completed. And all that's all you have to do for this area is the Chiliad Challenges right here. And that'll get you up your next percentage point, or however much it is. It's It'll get you closer to 100% once you complete all three of these. And so we're at 11 minutes right now, so I'm pretty sure that we'll uh, be able to finish all of these in this episode, assuming time permits it, in the form of uh, the game time, assuming I can get up to the top before they close down the racing. I might have to go to the bottom and save up and then go back up in the morning. Well, the game's morning. So, okay, here we go. Here's the final little couple curves. And then this one will be completed. That's the one annoying thing, though. This The hard part is not even... The really hard part isn't staying on here. It's getting done with these... Bef it's getting past everybody without getting knocked off. So the Cobra Run, that's the last one. So we'll go ahead and meet you guys back up at the top again. See you in a few minutes. Okay, here we are once again at the top of Mount Chiliad. I hope the time is going to let me go ahead and do this. Last challenge. It's going to be a foggy challenge if it does. And... Yes, it's going to let me do the last challenge. So, alright, here we go. This is Cobra Run. Final challenge you have to complete. Once you complete this, you are done with the Chilia challenges. Bum bum. This, I think it requires you to go on this thing. Yeah. 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 No. We're close to being staying on this thing. Crap. Can't even move. There we go. So as long as you're... It's mostly just be on this. Okay, there we go. Going down. Jump. Uh, jumping. Jumping. I don't like jumping. <coughs> so, okay, there we go. So, alright, we'll go down this way. So this is the last of the three challenges that you have to do. And once you complete this, as I said, then you'll be done with the Chilead challenges. I guess this one must be a quickish run. Maybe? I'm like trying to be kind of carefulish because I don't want to fall off. Yeah, here we go. Already at the finish. No, ah, almost fell off. Yeah, here we go. Here's the last little bit. Oh crap! 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 Oh no. Okay, we're good. We're good. First out of th oh yeah, it's only a three-person race too. That's the one good thing. So you only have those three, two guys that you got to pass. And there's the end of the Chiliad challenges done. Completed all routes for the Chiliad Challenge. So now that we have completed all challenges, my character looks really stupid in shorts and this stuff, so we're probably gonna head onto a zone where I can s change that. So now we can go ahead and carry on with our uh, vehicle searching. And once we get all the vehicles, then we'll be really close. Like it's all—it's not too much more left. Let's see, what is this? This is Sadler. Darn it! That's what I thought it was. I was hoping that would be Stafford for some reason. <laughs> I was thinking I'd get lucky. So okay, what we're gonna do is <coughs> gonna go ahead and head on into San Fierro. Nope, 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 nope. None of these stallion. We'll go ahead and take the stallion and go ahead and get another import or export, I should say. At least out of the way. We'll do it this way instead. Instead of doing it the usual way, we'll just... Instead of uh, going back and getting the one in Los Santos, I'll just export this one here. Unless I see one of the cars that I... The other cars I need to get. Dang it, that's like the car that I think... I think this might be it. I want to see this one or that car that just took off that way. I think one of them is the actual Stafford, maybe. Nope, Willard. That's what I... Th it all depends on what that other car is, because I don't know what it was. I don't remember what it was. If, it, if that other car is the Stafford, then awesome. That would be nice to get that out of the way. Because I already have the Stallion here. 
Darn it, come on, turn around, you stupid car. Man. Rancher, Wayfair, freeways, stupid things. These vehicles are not what I want. I'll go in this way, just like last time we'll get out later on at the, uh, we'll get out at the airport exit and go from there. So here we go, and we'll turn right now. Hopefully we can do this turn right. Cut through there safely. Oh dear. Skidding, skidding. Flipping. Oh no, 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 no. Flip over. Thank you, car. Whew. That was starting to be a little scary there. I was scared I was going to lose this vehicle. And I mean, since I already got it right here. So you know where a bullet is. I wish I could, wish I had to turn in a bullet. Because I know where that's at. So here we'll turn into this area, and we'll go drop this car off, and we'll export it. Honestly, I'm going to see if I can do this. I don't know if I can or not, but I'm going to try and, instead of dry, putting it on the crane, I'm going to drive it up the ramp here. Since I don't care much for price, I don't care if it's damaged. Okay, yeah, I could just drive it up here. That saves time, I think. So we'll just drive it into this area here, and... Get out. Yep, okay, there we go. That works. <coughs> so there we go. We've successfully done that for export. $14,000 on that car. So another one down. And one new vehicle for export. Yep. Now we can buy that car when it comes times. So let's see. What are we down to? Three, four left. Yeah, Stafford, Slam, Van Cheetah, Comet. Stafford, I don't think, is too terribly... Um, I don't think that's a rare one, but I, I am pretty sure the other three I know are rare. The Slam Band, the Comet, and the Cheetah, they're like, the Cheetah, they're all like high-end export cars, except for I think the Stafford. I'm trying to think of what the Stafford is, because I really do not remember at all what the Stafford was. Which car it looks like at anything. It's like of all the cars in this game, it's the one that I don't remember off the top of my head. So we'll back this up go this way and see if we can maybe find something lucky tamp that's the like that car that was a cool car but I don't remember the name of it but I know it's not the Stafford so let's see here we're at 17 minutes we got about five minutes left. oh yeah I want to do this taxi do some taxi and while we uh do taxi while we're looking for the vehicles so come here car come here come here you stop stop moving taxi you're mine your cab is confiscated by a dude in shorts and an army jacket and army boots. So we'll go ahead and go up into the city center area and we'll hit two, do some more taxi work. And then we'll uh, see how it goes from there. See how many fares we can get done in these couple minutes. Probably not too many. Probably one or two. <coughs> and this will be the last episode that I record of my San Andreas for the giant pack tomorrow. What would be considered tomorrow for me? Taxi, over here. If we get in, we'll take off. Let's go, I'm in a rush. Thank off in the park hotel. Okay. I don't know what that card was either. Almost, it was almost worth stopping, actually, just to check that one car. So, okay, here we go. Here's another fare. One down on this set. Here's a little extra. No, hang on. Two. F. I want to check what this car is. I don't think this is Stafford. Oh, by golly, it is. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So we got this one now. Awesome. That is awesome. I did not think that this was it. But alright, now that we got this car, we'll go turn it in. And then I think then that'll be the end of this episode. Next episode we are going to uh, finish off the thing with the train, the whatever that one is in the next episode whatever it's called I forgot freight mission yeah that's it we will do the freight mission in the next episode 
So be ready to have that completed. We'll check our percentage since we got the Chilead challenges done. That is going to add a percentage. Well, it should complete, uh, add a percentage or something. At least some form of percentage. And since, once again, I don't care, we're just going to drive it up. So if you actually can do it, you can actually drive these up there pretty safely. Without causing too much damage if you do it carefully. So here's this. And that's another car completed. So we're down to about three more left on this list. 34, so normally that would be a $35,000 car. Or, yeah, 35000 So one more car available for export, so we'll just go steal the... Uh, we'll just buy another car. I got over a million bucks, so... Comet, Cheetah, and Slam Van. I know, this, I know where Slam Van is. I actually do know where that is. That is on the strip in... Uh, let's buy a $28,000 car. Whatever. It's on the strip in Los Venturas. There should be one somewhere along the strip. And then the Cheetah and the uh, other car, I'm not at all like sure where they're at. And I'm going to eat after I end this video. So leave a like, make a comment, subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. It does help out a lot for me and I uh, really do appreciate it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I'm just gonna drive up to uh, CJ's garage. Whoa! After we get tossed around like that, that was weird. Alrighty, come on, come on, come on. No, we'll just save right here. Up at this little house instead of driving all the way up there. We'll save here. So I can now watch. I'll see a comet right here. So I'm pulling out and everything. And yes, I am actually checking. Because that would be so much crap if I missed one. So, alright guys. So let's go ahead and do our usual shovel, dual pistols, SMG, the M4, the flamethrower, and the parachute. So, alright, we'll see you in the next episode, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Oh, I almost forgot. Progress mode percentage. 95.72%, guys. Final little over 4% to go. Alright, see you next time.